Hello everybody, welcome back to Alaska in my SnowRunner hard mode playthrough. Um, I was going to do some fuel logistics off camera and then I drove the Tega down and I discovered that the Tega with its low saddle cannot connect to the, to the fuel carrier semi trailers if it's got the spare wheel and loading crane fitted. It puts the loading crane too far back. The spare wheel is behind the cab and it puts the loading crane too far back for that to fit. So I went back to the garage with the taker and I did take the spare wheel off and confirm in the trailer store without buying one but confirmed that it would be able to tow that trailer with the loading crane if it doesn't have a spare wheel on it. But while I was there, looking at the trailer store, I saw this Royal BM17 sitting there looking a bit desolate. I've spent money on upgrades on it. I've done nothing. I haven't driven it at all. So what I thought would be a bit of fun, and I know it's only fuel logistics, so I was going to do it off cam, but at least one of these trailers is to, is to move it with this and you and just get a feel for what this truck is like. It's only real shortfall is it hasn't got a lockable diff and that may be a fairly serious shortfall so but it's 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 a lot taller. I know it's got raised suspension on it but the suspension doesn't raise that much. It's a lot taller than the Tager. It's a bigger truck. So yeah. Still likes my Tager but since I've got this, I may as well at least hook it up and see what it does. And I've taken the loading crane off, so it's obviously less versatile. The last time you saw this truck, it had a loading crane and sideboard bed on it. I've taken it off and just put the low saddle. But that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's a, that's pretty well in proportion. And, I think, you know, like I said, I just... I've got it, I've spent money on it, I maybe shouldn't have spent money on it, but I've spent money on it, and I'm going to give it a go, see how she does. And I'm just going to move this trailer to the kind of four-way interchange that I mentioned at the top of the hill. Um, so I'm not moving it very far and then I'll just drop it off and jump over to another truck and do some contract stuff uh, there's another one of these trailers that's almost empty uh, in another part of the map and I may end up moving that and having that as my fuel dump near either the garage or the gateways But this one is pretty much full. So it'll be useful to have on this little four-way interchange where I do end up coming here quite often. So this truck has got all-wheel drive, uh, raised suspension, the big chain wheels. Not quite the biggest engine yet, I don't think. I haven't unlocked or found that. and It is in Alaska, I just haven't found it yet. So somewhere around here, I want to try and find somewhere convenient around here to put the trailer so that anytime I'm passing I can do a drive-by refuel. I think maybe on the left here in the snow. So yeah, just a little uh, few minutes of driving the BM. Can't really call that a test, can I? But at least it's... You know, it, it wasn't horrible. Uh, I will take some fuel out of the trailer while I'm here. But I don't have a sense of how thirsty this one is in comparison. And then I will park it right there, out of the way. Not got anything else in mind for it just yet. 
but I just wanted to... It's the first time I've actually used it to do anything at all, so I thought I'd better get that on the camera, on the recording. Now, and it's also, I wanted to let it build up into a bit of daylight. So, now, we jump over, because this is going to be the actual task we do. This is our first activity. Push that back a little bit further. I probably want that a bit further out, really, but... Attach. Get myself between the trailer and the loading thing, and I've got to get myself four lots. of oil barrels. That, that, I'm probably too close, so I need to push that trailer out a little bit. There we go, that's better. I don't want to be interfering with the loading area. That'll do. Right. Crane mode. Legs down. Cargo, loading platform, oil barrels, and let's get her loaded. I know where I'm going. So, probably and then in Mountain River. Oh, that's pretty close. That's all right, though. Right, off we go.
I think one of the strengths of this truck, the five axle side of it, is it's a bit like the, although it's not a five axle, it's four axle, but the twin steer, it's that the length of the vehicle lets it ride over terrain fairly well. It doesn't seem to bottom out in the middle the way that it might. And if your front wheels haven't got traction, your back ones probably have, and vice versa. I think that's one of the strengths of it. Actually, leaving that in high is going to give me better momentum. is shallow enough to just treat it like a road in a truck like this because it's good it's good stony surface to be driving on there's no deep bits to worry about Back to Mountain River. Seems brighter than Northport. We've only just left Northport, but the weather here seems to be a bit more sunny. drift it's quite a view isn't it it's quite an impressive view it's okay get a fuel on the way out Pallets of fuel as requested. Done. Man delivery. Not a lot of money for that one, but still, our balance is still creeping up quite well.
been a while since I repaired the Paystar. It's not too much damage, bit of suspension damage, bit of engine damage to fix up. May as well while I'm there, do that. And then and I'm gonna leave this two slot dolly trailer here for now, because I've got another one out of the garage on the other map. So I'm going to head back to Northport. do some of the tasks and, and think about the sequence of contracts later. So there's a couple of tasks to collect things in and around near the garage and I'd just like to tick those couple of jobs off. Because that feels like progress. Uh, before I go too much further, I should have a little look at where those tasks are. So there's bags of cement, so I'm nowhere near them yet. Um, Got to find four bags of cement, and I'll start tracking that one. There's two of them on this piece of ice here, I can see. Can't see the others just yet, but they are quite small icons. So I'm going to come down um, through here and grab any bags of ice that I encounter on the way, because when I get close enough, I'll start seeing them as a um, pickup icon. Even if they're not easily visible on the map, I'll still be able to see them. And then I'll, because there's four four slots of cargo there, I'll try and find a couple so I can see one there and I'm already not. That's already telling me that there's one and then two in that direction. So we'll, we'll grab these two and then go to the garage, grab the trailer, get the other two that I could see on the map on the ice. Um, and get those delivered. And then there's two cargo containers to pick up as well, and so we'll need the trailer for that. Uh, there's all four of them pinging now. So it's just a case of finding them, or finding the correct um, route to them. some speed on. Job to tell where these are. See if I can see from the map. So, if I orient the map, I don't normally do this, but if I orient the map in the direction I'm facing, I know the two 
directly ahead of me to my right will be these two. Because that's more or less at one o'clock from the way I'm pacing. Where are the others though? So there's one at say two o'clock. Is that it? Yeah, there's one on that road there by the look of it. And then the other one is bloody miles away. Where's that? Hmm. So I think I can see one. I can't see the other. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. All right, that changes the plan slightly. Because there's two more or less on the way to the delivery. And then... And then so I load those two up. I've been, I've done so much shenanigans with this. I think it's out that way. Across there. Across here to that one. And down here. And I think there's one there, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. And it's now dark, so... Lights on. Fuel is all right for now. I thought I had a decent plan, go to the garage and get the trailer, but then it turns out that the location of these things changes my plan, which is all fine. Alright, so there's one. Push on and get a second one. No, no, no. Oh, 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 it's been so long since I tipped the truck over. It ain't so badly. Oh, no. Oh, bloody nuisance. Alright, I'll get car about spilt milk. It is done. What's my best bet? Oh, hang on. I ain't much. This is why I never spin the map. It's, it's too easy to lose where I am. Um, right. 
That's a bugger, isn't it? Take her to the rescue, I think. But as I'm actually here, I might as well grab that two slot because I know I want it for this task or the next one anyway. Two slot trailer. So just quickly top up, but I don't. I think I'm topped up anyway. Yeah, ten liters. May as well just grab that. I think I'm going to come in this way and just grab these two while I'm here and then take them to the delivery point and then pull the paystar back on its wheels Okay, so I stop laying down on the job. do is drive into the depth of the gully rather than the wall of the gully I think. I do think that was my mistake. But it's a bit of a trappy place to leave this. Yes, 
It's not nice terrain, is it? Thanks for that, devs. No, 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 no. Let's not do it again. I'm driving on top of the pallet here. Just see if that's good enough to get it loaded at least. This is horrible terrain. Oh, no, I drove right into it without really checking it out in the dark. But even so, I think this is a bit of a deliberate bit of developer horribleness. Crane. Legs. Let's get this one back on. Right, let's see if we can get out and back on the trail without tipping it over again. Thanks, Tager. I'll see you later, mate. There we go. One, two. Eh, not too bad. Got it done. Not bad XP as well. My level must be creeping up. 25. Not bad. It's a cap 30. So I, I was quite surprised to see this. I've only got 17 out of 23. So I've still got another six upgrades to pick up. But yeah, 52% complete Alaska. That's a bit surprising. I'm sure it's not linear. So I want to... Turn this trail around and hook it on. So I'm gonna drag... I'm gonna hook that to there. And I'm just gonna back her up and pull it a bit. and then let her off. And then hook 
get onto there and that should turn it around and bring it with me without tipping it over hopefully and now if I accidentally release it getting low but I'm now going to do the containers because they're pretty close to where I am I think they're here and we're not far from a fuel trailer so hopefully I've got enough to pick those oh, I'll tell you what let's just play safe down here around here fuel up and down here in and pick up those fuel and they get delivered oh sorry those containers they get delivered down to the port again let's play it safe and get some fuel we've had enough mishaps in this episode I don't want another one Quite a tight twist, isn't it? Maybe the way to do this one is to leave the trailer there because this feels like another trap. <laughs> but maybe Something like that. I know that wasn't very elegant the way I did it, but it was what I meant. I just didn't quite intend to have the bridge do quite that. But get this one in the trailer and then pick the other one up into the truck. If I can reach a trailer from here, that is. I may not be able to. That's what I was hoping to do, though. Bit suspicious of my ability to put the crane out that far. We can lift. Yeah, actually, I'm surprised. I am a bit surprised that that's working.
Right. And then get myself out. then connect the two together. Cargo. Get out of here. So with the crocodile pack that's just come out, uh, I'm not sure if the speculation, I mentioned a couple of episodes ago that some people had been speculating that there was a Land Rover pack coming, and I don't know whether that was the thing they thought was Land Rover turned out to be crocodile, and therefore there's no Land Rover on the plans, or whether Land Rover pack might be another one that lands in the next few weeks or months so yeah I know, I know we knew the crocodile pack was coming but I just I'm sure I heard somebody watched a video and somebody was talking speculating about there being a Land Rover so I still have hopes to get a nice Brett truck that I can use as a scout. Right, let's get this down to the port.
two. We are getting it done, aren't we? We are getting it done. So the power lines check is the scouting one, which I would use the hammer for. Oil tank delivery is pretty much empty. I might be able to do that quite soon, actually. So I should probably think about doing that one soon, but that won't be this episode. That will be another episode. Yeah, okay. So what I do want to do now, though... I'm not entirely sure if this will work. Driving the long way around just so that I can get to turn this trailer around without having to tip it over or do janky stuff but then I ended up with a janky camera anyway. So I'm going to run this truck basically back to the garage without fueling it up on the way and see how much fuel is left in that fuel carrier that's at the garage by the time I've filled this one up. Because if that one gets empty, I will get it delivered. And get another task ticked off. Not empty, but 10%, you know what I mean. Ooh, that was a big hit. I think I saw 68 damage then to my suspension. Ouch. I was too, too busy enjoying drifting the trailer. I'm just trying to take a big chunk out of my coil springs. Damage. Let's have a look what the damage is like. So wheel. Suspension. Engines are right. Yeah, a couple of there's a couple of wheels are dangerously low. So I need to get those repaired. What an Egypt. Uh so refuel. Right, so that's got exactly a hundred left. If I wanted to put a bit back, what would that look like? If I said pay star, yeah, so I can, I can put all of it in, but I don't want to do that for sure. Let's just put this out of the way over here for a minute. Jump in the garage. So I think this is probably full. But. I did notice that this one. Basically has a 200 litre tank. And it is almost empty. Oh, sorry, it's almost almost exactly half full. So that's pretty much perfect. Gives me an excuse to drive this as well. I haven't put any different tyres on it, so it's still got its standard tyres. But I think Bradley mentioned that this is a fun truck with specially coated tyres. So what's my fuel? I want to burn off one liter. No, I can't. Can. Here we go. Engine on. So I've now got. If I refuel. Uh, I 
So that's a, that's put exactly 200 in the fuel carrier trailer. And then now I can fill up from the scout trailer. Job done. Right, let's get this delivered. And I'll, and, and I'll use the I'll use the A&K for it. So I've not driven it at all, really. Apart from loading it onto a trailer. pretty fast. It accelerates pretty fast. So that should be good to get me that last task completed. I've got no chains obviously so we'll see how it does. I love the sound of the engine on it. It's chucking out some black fumes though isn't it? So it's an always on. It's just a shame it doesn't have a bit of flexibility in its um, add-ons like I said in a, in a uh, reply to a comment it does look like a fun truck but in hard mode where you have to load thing, load stuff up with a crane I'm not sure how useful I'll find it uh, I may as well take it off road and see how it does It's got the standard gearbox, so I haven't bothered upgrading it at all yet. Probably quicker to go around the road, but I just wanted to give this a blast through some mud. I knew this was a muddy trail. Very military looking, isn't it? Very sparse dashboard. Functional buttons, but no luxury whatsoever. Yeah, it's not doing bad, really. But dragging a trailer through this terrain with zero upgrades. What's the fuel been like? So it's not bad on fuel either.
Although it's only got a 200 litre tank, so it's, uh, it's arguably uh, not going to have a brilliant range. That did alright though. I thought this had to be delivered here. And I'm not tracking the tabs, that's why. I'm sure it had to be delivered here, though. Yeah. Thought so, but... You did good. Sadly, I'm drew an ear bashing from a boss for late delivery. Sorry, mate. I had to keep it for a few episodes. I needed it myself. Never wanted this job. Family business. A lot of pressure from. You don't want to hear about this. Here's your pay. Okay. You got some pressure from family. Get it. All good. Hundred, near, almost 130,000 cash. So we're building up some cash reserves quite fast now. That's nice. Um, I am not sure what task I'll do next but I'll think about that because obviously that's enough for this episode the duration is pretty good for calling it done so I'm going to wrap the episode there thank you very much for watching as always very much appreciated um I'll work out what to do next and hopefully see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.